What's up guys, this is Fox, and today I'm going to be doing a very short tutorial on a Dodge Viper based uh, car. Uh, I might have made this tutorial before, but I deleted most of my videos to kind of reset the channel, and I'm going to be redoing some old stuff uh, for better quality and all that. Um, let me fix the time, because I just set it. Oops. There we go. Um, this should be pretty quick and easy. Everything you'll need will be right in this box. We'll have a block of coal, block of quartz, stairs, slabs, glass, string, white carpet and snow, item frames, some signs, end rods, a compass, and a block of redstone. Now, if, uh, all of my cars that I make are only three blocks wide because generally when I build city-based stuff, I try to keep the lanes five blocks wide because I don't want my cars to be too big. Um, it is possible to put a minecart in it if you wanted to sit inside of it, but the last time I tried, I got stuck inside and had to break blocks to get out. So uh, at that point, you could ender pearl or use a chorus fruit or whatever to get out of there but uh we're gonna go ahead and get started we're going to place two blocks of coal with one block of space in between and you're going to jump to the sixth block one two three four five six and place your back two tires that way you have a five block gap you're going to take your uh, stairs put them right across the front here as well as two stairs also forward facing right here Next, you're just going to put a block of quartz behind the front tires, as well as quartz stairs facing the rear, going sideways, and then a block just behind those. So it should be pretty simple, just like this. Next, you're going to take your stairs and put them upside down on those two last blocks we placed. Take a full block and place it in between the back two tires. And then quartz slabs you're going to put all the way across on the top. Next, you're just going to take some blocks and place them here in here. Uh, we're also going to be placing them right here in between these two stairs. Next, you're just going to go ahead and place some upright stairs on top of these sideways stairs. And then on the upside down stairs, a pair. And you're going to take your glass and put a front windshield and back windshield. And if you want, you can either put glass on the side for windows. Or if you want to be able to get in, you just put a slab. I just choose to put glass because then you can kind of see in a little better. Next, you're going to take some stairs and forward face them on the back for the wing. And you're going to take your carpet and place it on these two corner stairs. You're going to place string in between all the glass and put carpet on top of that. And then you're just going to go ahead and put carpet in the middle of two blocks here and then on the wing. Now, if you wanted to, you could choose a different color. For example, if you wanted a carbon fiber wing or something, or, you know, that's what you want it to feel like, you could just use gray carpet instead, or if you wanted to have a stripe down the middle, you could use a different color than uh, the white carpet. I'm just using the white because it makes it pretty much simple enough to explain. Um, next, you're going to take your snow and you're going to put two on top of the tires in the front, and then one just behind that. That way you have the kind of slope. And then you're going to do the same thing, put two on top of the two slabs or glass you have as windows. That way you have that kind of viper slant uh, that the roof has, where the middle is lower than the sides. And uh, just the reason, in case you're wondering why it does that, the roof is designed like that so that if someone is wearing a racing helmet and is driving the car, their, uh, their helmet won't be as likely to hit the roof. Um, next, you're just going to put snow on top of the back tires. And we're uh, almost done here. You're going to put... 
some item frames on every wheel. And then on the front stairs here and here. And the other two wheels. And then on the two slabs in the back. Next, you're going to want to take your block of redstone, edge rods, and oak signs. Oh, it didn't let me get the compass or the item frame. There we go. You're going to take your compasses and you're going to put one in each tire. Just like that. Now, I, uh, you can use something else. Some people use nether stars. Some people use music discs. I like to use compasses because of the fact that the red line kind of gives you the feeling of a caliper being in there. Um, you don't have to, but I like I like it, even though it's kind of not always facing the exact same spot. So, but it's a little closer. Then uh, on the back, you're just going to put your block of redstones in as uh, brake lights. In the front, you're going to want to put your end rods facing inward, just like that. And last, you're just going to put an oak sign on this block just behind the front wheel. I'm going to go down one, and you're going to want to type Viper SRT slash 10. It says pretty much what it is. And you're going to put it on both sides. That way you kind of have your badging. And that's it. Dump all this stuff in here real quick. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I'm going to have more of these soon. Uh, I like to kind of build it first and then make the tutorial in front of it. Now all of my cars I've built before are kind of on my Xbox and it's kind of a pain to record on the Xbox and then transfer it to my phone and do all the extra stuff so I'm going to be building all of the next cars first before I actually get to the tutorial of them. Now I decided to do this one just as a start uh, I have a few more I'm going to be doing, probably going to be recording today and then posting within the next week or two. Um, you can see there's another idea over there I got. There's something over there. Um, I want to try and keep it pretty simple, but for the most part, just uh, keep tuned and you'll see what keeps coming. Um, but for right now, this is kind of it for this, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!